Amanda, how are you today? Hi, good. How are you? I'm great. I'm just back from a couple of days off. Yeah, always don't, a good thing. Don't I look refreshed? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> as always, about as much as always. You have a question for me? I do. So what are the downsides or pros and cons of having a PID on a heat exchanger versus a machine that maybe doesn't have a heat ex uh, PID on a heat exchanger? So this is the Apartamento, exactly. and, it, and this is a heat exchanger. It does not have the PID. Mm -hmm. So the boiler, you can't control it quite as much. This is still a steam boiler. Right. You're still just controlling the steam on the, the, the water temperature of the steam side of this. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you like to play around with a lot of coffees, you might want the PID to right. alter that a little bit. But um, I, you know, I don't think it's huge. If you're just an average consumer, right. it's not huge. As you go up the line, you go to the premium plus and you get the PID, it lets you ramp up the boiler a little right. bit, gives you a little bit of control. But if you want true control, go to a double boiler. Exactly. And then you can control the brew side and the steam side. Right. Make it whatever you want. Well, and the nice thing about a heat exchanger or moving from a single boiler to a heat exchanger. Oh, huge. Is that you get a lot more control um, and you can steam and brew at the same time. And a lot more stability in the... Uh, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> the machine's controlling that steam temperature yes. pretty well, yep. but there will still be some temperature fluctuation when you're brewing. So you do a cooling flush and yep. you, you generally have like 200 to 202 or so that you're brewing with, yep. but you get even more, uh, you get more room to play if you get a PID. If the pit is on there, mm -hmm. sure. And yeah, the cooling flush, she just mentioned that that's so important on a heat exchanger. Right. Uh, you need to take the temperature of the feed tube that's going through that mm -hmm. high steam temperature. Excuse me, it's been sitting for a little bit. You have to make sure that you flush that hot water out of there. Right. Right? Right. Ah! <laughs> it's not on. <laughs> It's a good thing. I can't trust you around a hot machine. <laughs> no, it's a good, you know, I like this setup in my office. All I need is a grinder Pretty now, comfy, right? Huh? Yeah, I can use it like this and I can type and, you know, answer the phone. Armrest, type, That's brew right. espresso, good That's to right. go. <laughs> and then float on the ceiling. Yes, from too much of caffeine. Yes, that's where I was going with that. So that answers that question. Cool.